So the seven sounds of love, what on earth does that mean and how can you benefit from the seven sounds of love practice? Just to introduce the seven sounds of love and where they came from, I actually studied Indian music and it was really in a, a vocal, in the vocal philosophy of India that I started to engage with uh, the mantric sounds of the musical chakras and also to start uh, exploring how those sounds actually awakened my own experience of human and divine love. And it was really through working with a remarkable North Indian vocalist called Gilles Petit in, North, in Paris. He was a master of North Indian raga. And it was really through Gilles that I started to learn about these mantric sounds uh, of the Indian scale. They're the equivalent of our Do, Re, Mi, Fa, Se, La, Ti, Do. And these sounds, Sa, Re, Ga, Ma, Pa, Ta, Ni, Sa, have, when you are taught them, you are really taught to become aware of where they are placed in the body where these sounds are located in the body. And that really got me very inspired about the whole idea of developing a new language of sound informed by these mantric sounds. In order to make uh, Indian vocal music more accessible in the Western world, as a practice that as Westerners we can relate to, we don't need to be musicians for this, but we are very interested in how we can love and how we can communicate uh, in the most from the most subtle, earthy ways right through to the most ethereal, divine ways, our connection with each other. And so I started sounding and practicing these mantras. And it was really, this is really now what we're going to explore together. So enjoy the seven sounds of love. Then open up and then you can sing 
Hey. Mm-hmm.